son from the tribe have worked together to publish a children's book. It's called Hunter the Dancing Fox, and it's teaching readers to always chase their dreams. Love the sound of that. Mm -hmm. And joining us live now are co-authors Robin and Hunter Michaels. Great to have you both. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So first off, give us an overview. What is Hunter the Dancing Fox all about? A little sneak peek. Yeah, so Hunter the Dancing Fox is based on my true story. Um, growing up in a small town and trying all the things that maybe boys are supposed to do, uh, finding dance and achieving his dream. All right, Robin, what would you say inspired you to write the book in the first place? Well, Hunter is my inspiration, actually. When he left uh, home in 2016, to pursue his dream, I thought, oh, that would be a good story, but I was still working. So I put that off until I retired in late 2018 and picked it up and wrote it and rewrote it. <laughs> and then in 2020, we found a publisher, a hybrid publisher. And through the pandemic, we worked together and there were some shipping delays and all of those kind of things COVID related but we finally got it published last year. So it was, he was the inspiration for the story that I thought that it would help other boys and girls to know that you can follow your dreams mm -hmm. and achieve them. Yeah, and it looks like you are achieving them. Hunter, we're showing some photos from your childhood mm -hmm. and then probably some recent photos. Looks like you were in New York City. I mean, talk through your journey of kind of, you know, going through life and then being able to put your journey on paper. Yeah, so um, I started ballet when I was about seven um, in locally at High Point Ballet. Um, and so then I continued through high school and um, then ended up going to college in Pittsburgh. Um, after that, I found myself on doing a regional productions on different tours. I've toured all over the US, I've been able to tour internationally, you know, performing in China and Paris and Taiwan, really just amazing places. Um, and then I was lucky enough to move to New York City and now I've ended up at Wicked on Broadway. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. <laughs> that is yeah. so awesome. And mom, I'm sure you are so very proud too. I'm very proud. I used to use him as an example when I taught my students when I was a school counselor all those years. And so it's good to see him live his dream. Well, and obviously that's what you hope that readers take away from this book. What has been the, I guess, um, you know, reaction so far um, from your readers? Oh, I just went on Tuesday to a first grade class and they were very engaged. And of course, in the book, they see themselves because they try, Hunter tried all the activities, sports and all of those things and finally found dance. And so um, they see themselves and then it gives them hope that they can learn and do and achieve whatever they want to. Mm -hmm. And it's unique to be able to do a project like this with your parent. So Hunter, bring that to life for us. I mean, being able to write something like this with your mom because she believed in you, right? Every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And having her as my support system is has just been so monumental to my success. And I, I am so grateful for that. Um, writing a book with her, it just, it just flowed. And we already have such a fantastic relationship as it is, but being able to just openly bounce ideas off each other about, you know, a manuscript or like what should he be wearing or how to, what should be his, um, what should be like the tension in this part of the book or what's the resolution and how can we help, um, how can we use her skills as a former educator and a guidance counselor to help teach the lesson and how can we use my creative skills to really like bring the story to life so the collaborative aspect of that was of that was just it just flowed so naturally it did well it, it sounds like a, an amazing book uh, tell our viewers today what's what's the easiest way they can get a hold of that so the best way to get it, you can go to dancingfoxproductions.com. That'll tell you everything you need to know about the book, give you reviews, give you a little bit about that, a little bit about us. And there's a link there where you can order on Amazon. 
awesome. And we have the website awesome. on the screen too for folks at home. Hunter and Robin, thank you for being an inspiration. I can't wait to read it mm -hmm. too. And thank you again for joining us this morning.